Hi everybody, it's me, Matt. I got a new lens, and so far I've been finding that it's a lot clearer than my previous lens. So that means that when I cut my neck when I'm shaving, like I've already done, uh, you'll see those cuts a lot clearer, um, because I'm not good at shaving yet. Okay, it's a new year, so happy new year. Maybe it'll be happy, uh, maybe it won't be, because I, statistically, I guess, a lot of you are gonna be really sad this year. Um, your pets might die and significant others might leave you. Uh, and that's gonna suck, and that'll be a sad new year. Why are you still watching? Not only is it a new year, it's actually a new decade too. So, woot woot, um, so happy new decade. Maybe it'll be happy, and maybe it won't be. Uh, statistically, <laughs> by the time you're watching this, it is the new year, but by the time of filming, filming, film. Hi, it's actually a new day. Uh, it's the next day because last night when I was filming, the audio crapped out and I didn't realize that until I was editing it today. And so that's why I'm here uh, in a new, much tighter shirt in hopes that you'll respect me uh, a little less. I got into a very civil argument with a guy in my comment section um, on, on a video that I posted recently. The video in question was uh, a very important video for the end of the decade, that was the title of it. If you have not seen the video, uh, you can watch it now or later, doesn't really matter. The whole point is that you know the title of the video is a very important video for the end of the decade, because in response to that, he actually commented, um, one second, I'll get it. He said this, he said, But, um, er, uh, the decade ends December 2020, just saying, and that's probably how he speaks. Now, you watching, I know that you're a smart person and you know in, in your heart of hearts that the decade has just ended, all right? By the time you're seeing this, even right now, it's January 1st where I'm, when I'm filming this, the decade's over, okay? We know that. Now, when I responded, thankfully it was Boxing Day, okay? And I was feeling good. I was in a great mood. I had, you know, it's the day after Christmas. I was still on that Christmas high. Uh, you know, from all the Christmas drugs, Santa comes down and spikes your spikes your coffee with his uh, his little elf juice. What the? F so I saw his comment, but I was I was feeling real good. So I, I responded with some sauce because he deserved it. Uh, but more or less, I was just I was being friendly about it because you know I was just in such a good mood. Hey man, sorry it took me six hours to respond. I was just processing this comment. Still doesn't make any sense. With that said, I've taken the liberty of having a guess of what went wrong here. Scenario A, it's the holiday season and you're around a younger sibling or cousin who stole your phone and thought it would be cool to comment a silly little joke on a YouTube video. Scenario B, again it's the holiday season and you're around someone who is around your age but had the same thought process as the kids in scenario A, thinking it would be funny to tell a silly little, I can't say silly little joke. Upon considering a possible scenario C which would have involved you yourself actually believing that the decade ends in 2020 and not in 2019, I actually had to take a five hour nap and think about all the thoughts that I've been thinking in the past two weeks because there's absolutely no way that someone who can read and write such as yourself would believe that the last year of the decade is in 2020 and not in 2019. And this guy isn't the only person that I've seen to have to have thought this, okay? There has been, there was another guy uh, on, who commented on that same video and said, and said uh, I'll put it up on the screen for you. Um, and there was also a bunch of people on Twitter that I saw who, in response to someone that I follow's tweet um, saying something about the same thing, just saying like, hey, no, the decade ends next year. And my question to all of you guys who think that is, I was just wondering when you're going to fall asleep and then stay that way. And right now you, if you watching, have the same frame of mind as these people, I want you to, well, what I want you to do, I guess it's pretty simple, just sign up uh, for gymnastics uh, and then on the first day, on your way home from practice, drive off of a cliff. This way of thinking, whatever you want to call it, it, uh, it wasn't even something that I knew existed. It wasn't like, it wasn't me seeing this and then being like, oh, for God's sakes, it's another one of these guys thinking that the decade ends a year, a year later than it, than it actually does. And maybe it's because the last time that we switched decades, I was 12 and looked like this. And I wasn't really concerned too much with what others thought about when the decade actually ended. I was more concerned about Hey, are my gums going to fully encapsulate my teeth? It gets better because he responded <laughs> with, he responded with LMFAO, which, you know, come on. <laughs> That's so condescending. <laughs> um, the decade ends in December 2020. Promise. Look it up. Please try again. I wasn't so much like mad at him, but it was, it was almost like a, just a disbelief that this guy actually thinks that there's another year left to the decade. Now, after he said that, I didn't respond for a little bit because, you know, I was, I was doing something or I don't know what I was doing, but I, was, I have a life, so I was doing things. And he uh, um, obviously 
doesn't have a life. So he said, uh, this inaccuracy, it always pops up when we're going from a nine to a zero. Technically, we're both right. And whoops, oopsie daisies. As he was typing his comment, he realized mid-sentence that, uh, how do I put it? Like if his argument were a piano, it would be a bad piano. Centuries and millennia always start with years ending in one. Those time spans are typically referred to as numbered entities counted up from the year 1 AD, as in the 21st century or third millennium. And he's right about that. When we switched from BCE to AD or to Common Era, whatever, we skipped year zero and went right into year one. And if you believe that and know that a century is 100 years and a decade is 10 years, then we, when we, if we start from year one, a hundred years into the future, we'll start again at 101, which means that the year 100 will actually be the very end of that first century, which is the way it actually is in history. And my counterpoint, and the counterpoint of nearly everybody on the planet, is that it just makes more sense psychologically to start with a zero. The background keeps going away, sorry. A completely different guy commented on the video and said that we actually started the millennium too early. Which, imagine getting four new numbers on your calendar for the year. Like you go from 1999 to 2000, but you don't want to celebrate it until 2001. All I'm saying is, in the past, whenever there has been a stupid thing, uh, people eventually catch on and realize that that thing is stupid. And so what they do is, as a population, they're like, hey, this is a really stupid thing, we should fix that. So it's either completely abolished, or it's replaced by a far superior, superior kill, it's literally kill me, a far superior alternative, not a far superior alternative, a far superior alternative. If we agree that the first decade and the first century uh, take one for the team and have one less year, that's a very small price to pay so that all future decades and centuries can start on time. Also, the people that decided that this was the way it was going to be were probably in like the year 100 anyway. So like if you th agree with them, then the rule should be that you have to live by their standards. So if you want to take a shower, not allowed because there's definitely no showers in the year 100. What else wasn't there in the year 100? There were no... There were no iPods. So if you have an iPod, don't use it. Okay? Do we agree on this? Like, is this a thing that, does this make sense in any way? Like, there's no way that the year 2020 should not be a part of the 2020s. Hey, what year were you born? 1990. Oh, sweet, man. I love the 80s. Thank you for watching this video. I very much appreciate it. Um, uh, happy New Year to you, and Happy New Decade as well. So, uh, and with the new year and new decade, I actually have some news. Um, in the past, I've been sporadic with posting videos, uh, but this year I have pledged uh, myself to posting 52 videos, which means a new video every Saturday. Unless, of course, I change that day to another day because Saturday is not the optimal day for my audience. But right now, it seems to be. So I will see you from all, on all the Saturdays, okay? Hold me accountable for that too. If I don't, unsubscribe. Ah, oh, shit, now I've really done, <laughs> done myself in now. <laughs> no, we'll be fine, it'll be okay, we'll do it. We'll be all right. <laughs> I'll say also thank you for uh, an awesome year. This time last year we had 200 subscribers, which is nuts because now we have 16,000 and some change, which is super cool. Uh, anyway, yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching uh, all of my videos this year. Uh, and thank you in advance for all the videos that you'll watch this year. Hopefully you like them and stick around. Uh, thank you. Okay? Thanks. Take care. Comb your hair. I'll see you next Saturday. So casually keep diving into concrete. So bittersweet. Huh? Keep losing sleep while driving. left of me <laughs> I'm gonna put you down now not like just put you on the ground I don't mean that like euthanize <laughs>